Hey guys, Adam here from DirectionTrader.com. It is February 2nd. Let's go over these markets. Well, anybody who's been watching the markets since um, <laughs> basically for the last hour, it's uh, it's kind of it's kind of been lit on fire here. Uh, pulls have taken charge and really ran this thing up. Been a very entertaining afternoon, and um, well, let's dive into it here. Um, let me go ahead and uh, blow up this this anchor chart. This is a 1600 tick. Not a real long time frame, but um, fairly long for us intraday. As you can see here, we were watching this level that we're at right now, but we've been watching it in the past. So you see, we drew this fib from these highs. Oh, sorry about that. We drew this fib from these highs up here down to these lows, and we were able to hold them late last week. We held them once on Thursday. Held them again on Friday, and then as you see, let me get rid of some of this stuff. As you see on Friday, guys, really nice sell-off right into the close. Very, very interesting because anybody who maybe um, caught some of this sell-off or some of the guys that saw this retest, and, and even, if, even if they sold it here really nicely, you know, they were pretty confident going into today that we could get further selling. Well, as we went into today, you see we opened up here, we started to sell off, things look good, and just like every other day, you get these V bottoms or A tops on them, and sure enough, we got the buyers to come in here, so they were getting a little bit weary, and all of a sudden the selling came back in, the confidence went back up, and then it had been completely crushed. Anybody who shorted on Friday looking for the market to go ahead and continue to break through some daily support have been absolutely crushed. Somehow the buyers have come in again at this level and absolutely bought this thing back up and it's all taken place here in the last hour or so. Maybe the last 40 minutes here for the most part. So big push here. We're going to show the daily chart in a second but um, I cannot ignore the fact that this, these buyers came back in at these lows. These lows I'm going to show you on the daily here in just a few seconds. Sure enough, they bought them back up here. They keep protecting this level down here. And that is just showing us that this sideways trend is not over. So with that being said, actually I can get rid of some of this stuff. I don't really need uh, some of these trend lines on here. I can, uh, I'm going to redo them here uh, when tomorrow comes. I'll leave this one in here and absolutely going to leave this Fibonacci in here because it has not failed yet. But um, let's go to a daily chart and let's check out a few things here. As we pull up a daily, let's move this over and make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. But um, actually, let's just blow it up here. All right, so we can definitely see this very nicely here. Um, we have these lows, guys. We can all we all know about these lows. We all know about these highs. The market has been in this range. Here's the first of November. So ever since early November, we've been inside this sideways range. Um, the sell the the sellers have not failed to drop it when we get up here. The buyers have not failed to make it pop back up whenever we get down here. It's been a remarkable sideways range. Now, the only thing I will say about this is usually when you're in a nice uptrend, you will get a nice V bottom, if you were to say, and the market will just just rally right back to the upside. We're not getting that. So there's a little bit of indecision here on my on my side. I, I, I don't see this as you know your, your normal pullback for not even months now. We've had this for years now. We've had these pullbacks and people say, oh, this trend is over, and then a V bottom. I mean, look at all the V, look at all the bottoms, you know, as far back as you want to go. Look at these bottoms. Uh, some of them smaller than others, some much larger than others. But what is the common uh, um, factor that you see in all of them? You see a lot of this V bottom type stuff going on. And we absolutely are changing that now. So usually whenever you see a, uh, a market getting ready to tank, go back in history. Anytime you see the market getting ready to tank, you see a lot of this indecision going on before you see that sell-off finally just happen. Um, a lot of times whenever the market is about to rally, you see a lot of these V bottoms. And that's something you can go back and you can just track and see that repeats itself over and over and over and over again. Here... A little bit questionable in my opinion so just for you guys that are looking for swing positions just something to think doesn't mean that I don't think it can push higher this is just one of them situations where it looks to me like it could be one of them bearish tops 
So I'm not telling anybody to start shorting the market. I'm just throwing out the uh, just throwing the bait out there. Just saying, guys, just watch out here. Be a little bit cautious. These rallies that you see on Thursday and today. How much do I trust them? I don't know. Um, we've definitely had some very serious uh, divergence here on a daily chart. As you can see here, this divergence is absolutely starting to roll itself over here. Momentum's rolling itself over. We're getting this kind of bearish topping pattern. And I'm not one to call the tops or bottoms, but we, it kind of feels like it's a topping pattern here. Um, on this S&P, basically the stock index future. So just something to pay attention to, maybe something to keep in mind. As far as tomorrow and what I'm looking at tomorrow, can't deny the fact of these Thursday and Friday's highs. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on them. So am I bullish going into tomorrow? No. Am I bearish? No. So it's a little bit different than what I the, the videos I usually make is usually I say, hey, I'm looking here, I'm looking here, and that's not necessarily the case today. Now, if we're able to push above Thursdays and Fridays highs, and maybe today's highs by the end of this day, we still got 10 minutes left in the trading. But if we're able to push above the highs, get above our 50 and 21 uh, daily EMAs here, uh, I'm going to be looking to the long side. I'm going to look and see if this market can come on and go ahead and retest these 80s up here. And if that's the case, you know, great. I'll trade it to the long side because, you know, it's been a pattern that's worked for months now. Um, but if we do find some selling early on, I'm gonna I'm I'm pretty encouraged about us holding this midpoint. If you watch the video from last night, I'm pretty encouraged about the market holding this midpoint for some selling. So maybe tomorrow the selling is gonna come in, and uh, I will definitely look to short if we have any selling pressure below today's highs. So that's what I'm gonna be watching here on the daily chart. But as you can see, we've definitely oscillated above, below, above, below. Been been kind of a roller coaster here ever since the 1st of November for the most part. Now, real quickly, before we wrap up this video, I just want you to uh, see, guys, um, look at look at the open here. Just pay attention, maybe going into tomorrow. Here was the daily open here. As uh, Actually, sorry, let's go to today, not yesterday. Um, but here was the daily open. Just identify with what the market did. It sold off. Uh, we were talking about this pre-market. Be careful of a sell-off and a big pop intraday. Not only did we sell off, we popped up above the uh, the opening range of the day. So it looked like we were pushing higher, just enough to sell off shorts. All right, now, all right, this little fake out to the upside. And then sure enough, it ran back up. An extremely difficult day. I'm sure there were tons of people who just got clobbered in a market like this. They're seeing the momentum to the downside. Dang it, they failed there. Here we are popping higher. Nope. Here we are popping lower. Nope, again. So today had to have been a very tough day for some traders, uh, especially anybody who is trading like a 30-minute chart, a 15-minute chart. Just very tough to um, gain any momentum today. Uh, finally, before we go any further, let's go ahead and take a quick look down here at this. This is simply just the net issues, the advanced decline here of the uh, uh, NICE issues. Uh, another good point here. Let me just mark up here this midpoint. This is the zero level. This is the level I consider somewhat neutral, this plus and minus 400. As you can see here, we went from plus 1,300 all the way down to minus 500 here. So big drop. So that's very bearish to drop from 1,300, drop 1,800 uh, uh, points there on this indication. So, you know, the bears are, you know, you would think it would drop like this and then start to consolidate its way down. This is very typical in a bearish move. Nope. The buyers came, kicked it right back up to that plus 1,300. So guess what? You think this thing's heading higher. You think it would, you know, just kind of, nope sold back off so very difficult day here guys if you were like me you sat on your hands all day you didn't do a lot of stuff you did because I, I didn't see the confidence one way or another every time we started to get a move sure enough the other side came in so very difficult but it all stems from the daily chart on down start with your top-down approach guys you notice that we are stuck in this really small range here on the daily charts here we're looking at the 2020s down to the 1980s and this market has been stuck in there for the last four trading sessions so let's see if we can get it out of this range and start to get a little bit even if it's a micro directional bias get a little bit of a directional bias here so we can start to be confident in one side or the other of the market so that's it for today guys if you have any questions um, 
feel free to reach out to me. You can write me Adam at directiontrader.com or you can leave a comment below this video. I am the one that responds to them comments and gets to them personally. So I will respond as soon as possible. But uh, feel free to get a hold of me if you have any questions. If not, thanks for watching and uh, hope you're safe today. Hopefully we can get some movement in the next couple days in these markets. Start to get them to go. We don't really care about the direction. If we want them to rally, if we want them to drop, we don't really care about that. But um, it should be make for an interesting break if we can get out of this range. So if you have any questions, get a hold of me. If not, thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good afternoon.